Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Cash. Thank you again so much for joining me here. Let's take another look here at SUI, see what's going on. Uh, this is a request from one of my community members here, I believe. Uh, let's see here, TA requests. SUI twice from Riven. Thank you so much for the request. Be happy to help you out there. Uh, if we do take a look, of course, at backend data, we're gonna see um, some pretty important stuff. Uh, we also wanna look at the falling wedge pattern here and the potential for Elliott Wave to play out. So if we continue to maintain this current range, we don't go much lower, SUI should take off from here. But once more, there is a lot of liquidation. We look here to the downside where there's potential for further uh, sweepage, right? Now, again, we have a pretty significant fair value gap on the daily that does lead us down to this low 80 cent mark. So we'll talk about that on the charts. But if we look here, we can see a lot of liquidation above the price action and below. But more important, there's a lot more above than below in the last seven days. However, if we zoom out, essentially look at the last four weeks worth of trading, we can see there's a tremendous amount of liquidation on the downside. So there is more incentive for the price to pull back than to go up, but once more, that tells us we have a lot of support too, right? So you gotta recognize that. Okay, so having said that, let's go ahead and take a look at the daily and we'll talk about this falling wedge here in a minute and kind of go from there because people seem to think that falling wedge patterns are bearish, they're actually bullish. Uh, but if we look here, look at this fair value gap. Most fair value gaps are filled by the way, but we got a more recent one that stretches out from here from 86 upwards of $1. So 86 to $1, there's a heavy concentration there. Okay, so that in itself, is a, um, a pretty pretty stark reality, okay? Implying that we could see the price pull back down as low as 87. We've even got a pretty, pretty heavy he previous fair value gap as low as about 65. That coincides with this liquidation here, okay? So it would make sense for the price to pull back to that level eventually. Will we see that right now? Maybe, maybe not. Really depends on Bitcoin. If Bitcoin doesn't pull back, then I think it's, so we should see a bounce from here for SUI because we have a nice looking Elliott wave pattern here forming. That could be invalidated soon if we if we continue lower, but once more, we gotta presume it'll happen until it doesn't, right? So let's look at the moving averages and double check this here. We're above all moving averages minus the 200. That's still a very bullish sign, okay? Getting above the 200 takes a while and it's not a big deal. It's a, gonna be a resistance range for us, but we're not there yet, so we don't gotta worry about it. It's quite a ways away. Let's look here though at the four hour and see where we're at. We got a more local fair value gap here for this most recent candle, down as low as about 92 and a half. Okay, so 92 and a half would be a solid pivot point. The reason why is because we have our local high here and that should be the new low, okay? So hypothetically, we pull back a little bit further. I'm gonna consider a potential long here at the uh, 93 cent range, okay? Again, just thinking out loud right now, that's an alert that I set. Am I gonna blindly jump into a long position at that level? No, I'm gonna reevaluate when I get there, if we get there, may not happen, okay? So anyways, that's kind of the, the sidebar, if we, if we exclude that, we look at the rest of the stuff here, we can kind of double check and see we're breaking below 50 in the RSI. Well, this is never like an exact, like definitive line, oh, we're at 49, I got a short now. When we're below that level, it's generally bearish, okay? We can also construe here as well with the MACD that we are effectively breaking down and have good momentum on the downside. Stochastic's also pulling back, still hasn't, well, it's starting to bottom out, but it can only go so long. Okay. So it does imply here that this little channel that we're in, we could see further downside. However, it comes with a caveat here. If we look at the hourly, let's quickly double check this and double check one thing. Keep in mind, this is a bullish type of pattern in most cases. Keep in mind though also, rising and falling wedge patterns have the lowest success rate too. While the success rate has to be over 50%, it's like a 55 to 60% probability that's gonna happen. So keep in mind, the price when it comes down, works itself in here it generally will bounce off after the second bottom, okay? And the reason why that usually exists is because there's typically a high in that range previous, right? Generally, they're going to bounce off that level. They don't just bounce off of nothing. So keep in mind that the, the more recent high, which is this back here at about 92 cents, that is effectively further down, that's, that's lower. So we should experience the price to pull back a little bit further, especially if Bitcoin does, and see that fair value get filled and that point, I think is more likely to get hit than the, the current, okay? So even though there's a, a falling wedge pattern, this could break out to the upside, and we are seeing this, uh, you know, this nice Elliott wave pattern, we still gotta recognize the, uh, the Fib levels here locally. Okay, so let's quickly pull that up here. And again, I'll post this on our playout chart here with, uh, with our Twitter, Telegram, and Discord, just so you know. Uh, we are coming up to this 0.5 Fib level. This is a good solid pivot point. Um, worst case scenario, the price comes down to 0.618 and bounces. But again, different snarls exist here. But if the price is gonna bounce, it's gonna, it's gonna bounce between 92 and 94 cents, okay? So with us being at 95, 
I would personally wait for a better position. That's just me personally. I, I tend to wait for opportunities that never happen, though. So please understand that. If you want to get in now, maybe get some skin of the game, I understand. But generally speaking, based on what we see here, the local high with these fibs here and everything, it would make sense for us to get a pivot or a bounce soon. Once more, that the caveat still exists. If Bitcoin retraces further, we're going to see SDI retrace a lot further too. Because look at look at Bitcoin's price action. Sideways, 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 and now just a little bit of down. Look at SUI. Up, down, up, down. That The downs are much harder than the ups, okay? So this type of situation is still construed as a bearish type of divergence, right? Even though we have a pattern that could play out positively, if we don't, we lose this level here, this more recent high at about 93. I think we're going to see a much further retracement here to fill some of this fair value gap down as low as what was it, 84? No, sorry, 86 cents. Okay, so I think we have more potential for downside than upside, honestly, just looking at everything here based on the premise that I do feel like Bitcoin's going to pull back a little bit more. Okay, so again, if you're, 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 you're uh, super itching for a long trade, I would say between 92 and 94 would be a logical entry. Um, and then obviously, if you're trying to short, just make sure it's a tight short. Don't get too crazy because we haven't invalidated this, uh, this pattern yet. And until it's fully invalidated, there's no reason to kind of trade against it, right? You're more likely to find success going to the upside than the downside um, within reason. Okay, again, there's a lot of little things there. Generally speaking, when I have these type of scenarios here where you know, there's a bearish divergence in a smaller time frame, the larger time frame looks bullish, and we're still waiting for invalidation, I wait to see if that happens, okay? I don't try to short into it to try to get early. I think right now, yes, the truth is most altcoins are coming down. Bitcoin dominance is increasing. There's a reason for all that. But on the same accord, um, I think it's still too early and premature to uh, take either a long or a short. And let me just quickly double check the, uh, the Ichimoku cloud. This does confirm, though, that there is a bearish divergence on the hourly, which implies that you know we have more potential for downside. So me seeing all this, I would say we have a slightly larger probability the price goes down before it goes back up. Yeah, cool. So what are your thoughts? Why don't you comment below? Let me know. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button uh, just to ensure we get more, you know, more of this in front of more people. Because unfortunately, a lot of moon boys are getting the views and they're, uh, they're destroying a lot of people. So it's unfortunate, but hey, that's the crypto world, right? You got to kind of sift through the trash and be able to find those gems. So I hope that you learned something again. I hope you have a good rest of your day. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care of yourself.